So that was my, that was my dream last night. Okay, explaining where we're at and why. And why the Lord's delaying. Okay. So now to go back on my other dream. And I will post the video in here. And it's about the water libation of the feast of Sukkot. And it happens every day of the feast. But the Lord Jesus cried, cried out on the last great day. Whoever's thirsty, I will feed. I will feed the water. The living waters. Okay, so I was pointing to the last day of the feast. Which is either the eighth day or the ninth day. Because there's two long days that are counted as one. Okay. Shemini Atzeret. And um, Simchat Torah. Okay. And so they both represent the drinking of the water. The wine. The Last Supper. The... Um, procession around the altar seven times. Okay, so that's talking about the wedding, wedding, wedding supper of the lamb and the bride, and um, the last trump. Okay, so now all of these apply to this the eighth or ninth day of also the feast of Hanukkah, our second chance at Sukkot. The Feast of Dedication, okay? Dedicating our temples to the Lord and receiving our eternal tabernacles, okay? At the end of the feast, you receive your eternal tabernacle. Now, what is interesting that I didn't bring up here, and I'll talk about it, uh, uh, that I didn't really bring up before, and I'll talk about it again with a timeline with a future video, is that there's a, p a possibility of um, those two weeks. Again, it's another two week timeline for Hanukkah. So it will start on, just to clarify, it will start on the eve of the 30th of November and it will go up until about the 17th of December. Either the 16th or the 17th, depending. So we'll see. Um, I'm kind of leaning more to the 16th, but we'll see. Anyways, so now it could be that the two raptures are only a week apart. One happens at one end, the eighth day of the feast. Okay, the either eighth or ninth day of the feast of the first week. And then the second one could happen at the eighth or ninth day of the second week. So I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go into too much of this explanation of timelines, but it's a possibility. So I'm just helping you to understand from the get-go. And one of the reasons why this is possible, which I didn't perceive during the Feast of Sukkot, but the Holy Spirit helped me remember after the fact that, again, like I said, I have all these puzzle pieces that I'm putting together. One of the things is the Lord sent me a dream that basically Jesus himself was standing in front of me and he showed me a calendar and he said two departures actually he's technically said two raptures and he said yeah he said two raptures and then he pointed the calendar and he showed me two a block of two weeks and at the end of the first one he said first first rapture and then he went down a block a week and he said second rapture and it was literally just like you it was either the Thursday or Friday for both of them and a week apart now again I've taken that in like you know the thing about the what the way the Lord gives information is sometimes they can be literal sometimes they can be interpretational and also sometimes things can be um, changed like sometimes they're not always definites some things can be changed so I take it I, I've taken certain things, and this is one of them, with like kind of a grain of salt, kind of seeing if it fits, great. If not, then, you know, maybe it's something else or whatever. Um, or maybe it's diff it's supposed to be different. So you see what I mean? But now all the timelines, everything that I've collected, that the Lord's brought us to, just more understanding now, more confirmation, and it's a possible 
a possibility now for this coming Hanukkah on the Jewish um, calendar. Now remember, the Jewish day counts, are, they don't go by the new moon sighting. So they're slightly off for, by a couple days. The days that I quoted you go by the new moon sighting. So it's their calendar, but based on the accurate new moon sighting. So I want you to understand that's what the, the 30th to about the 17th is based off of. All right. So, yeah, that's, um, oh yeah. I didn't tell you my other dream. Okay, the dream that I was supposed to link. Okay, about the water libation. Okay, so the water libation, I'll just quickly say, because I explained it more in depth and detail with understanding of how it relates to the feast of dedication, which we both do, they would both do at Sukkot and Hanukkah, okay? Because Hanukkah is a second Sukkot. And during this dream that I had, I was drinking the living waters with the Lord Jesus Christ and God the Father, the symbol of them in my dream. And Jesus, the symbol of Jesus kept saying to me, it's a 40 ouncer. It's a 40 ouncer. It's a 40 ouncer. And so at the time, what I had thought because of our high watch is that there was a 40 day count until the second departure. And so the first would go and then there would be work in the harvest for 40 days, which again, it could be possible. It could be possible that when the first fruits go, they have 40 days. Now I said the other possibility is with that other dream, if it's interpreted literal like that, you know, and it applies that it could be one week apart. But we'll see what the Lord brings. Again, I'm going to pray on these timings and study them out further and um, get confirmations from you. But these are the two possibilities. And also, maybe what he was talking about that 40 day was our preparation for the first fruits. Okay? Now, when does that 40 days start? Okay. So I was thinking the 40 days could start for the elect the first the end of the first week of Sukkot. So we had that two week, two week watch. So the eighth or ninth day of the first watch. Okay. So that would be the end of the first week of Hanukkah would be 40 days. And then the second one would be 40 days from the end of the second Sukkot eighth or ninth day watch, which would bring again to the end of Hanukkah, the second week of Hanukkah, the eighth or ninth day departure. So this is this is a possibility. I hope that's clear. Okay. <laughs> so I believe now that was the refining because 40 is a, a time of testing and refinement. The Lord is delayed. So this is what he's showing. And I think now what that what I realized that meant is I believe he's saying again, 40 more days, 40 more days from your high watch of the the eighth or ninth day of Sukkot, both the first week and the second week. So we'll see how that plays out. And again, I'll pray on this more for confirmation and clarity and understanding and studying it up further. So with all that, guys, this is a longer video, but it was a lot to explain. And so all these things are coming. The day of the Lord is still coming. All these things are coming. We have a short time now to of delay. But again, the Lord can keep on delaying. I want to clarify with you, everything can line up and he can keep on doing that again and again and again and doing again and again until his people are ready, until his children are made ready. They're totally refined. The first fruits are baked into the two leaven loaves, which is, you know, you need to realize in the Song of Solomon, that's what he talks about, a company of two, uh, two armies with the bride. It's a company of two armies when the bride makes herself ready. She has a company of two armies. That's the two loaves of bread of the wheat harvest of the first fruits, the 144,000. And you need to understand the 144,000 do come in pairs. One man and woman. That's all I'm going to say. And the Lord showed me this clearly. Some of the, He showed probably some of the other 144 this as well. It's not that. That's not that important to understand. But it is a deep dive meat teaching. So I pray you study that out. Look it up. Pray to the Lord about whatever you need to, because this is what the Lord wants. The, he wants those, his elect to be in love with the truth, okay? So they're saved out of lie, and they're refined, and they love the truth, because that's what ends up bringing them to the full truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. So 
Right now we only prophesy in part, we only know in part, and soon we will know completely as we are known um, when we are glorified like our Lord Jesus Christ, we will see him and be like him. Okay, so this is coming soon, so I wanted to encourage you, explain everything, um, you know, to help clarify where we are, why, and more or less when. And again, these are just high watches, the Lord can delay, and that's why only the Father knows when all the children are ready, when everything is ready. Okay, so I pray that you take these things into deep consideration prayer, because again, his bride needs to make herself ready. 144 need to make themselves ready. They need to overcome sin, Satan, and the world in order for Abba Yahuwah to send his son and hear us when we say, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Baruch Haba Bashem Adonai. So let us all call out, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Baruch Haba Bashem Adonai. I pray this has blessed you as it has me. May the peace of Christ be with you and all your own. Amen.